Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Barry and this is Centralize. And today we've got a massive lush haul. Here in the UK, about a month ago, as part of a, a staggered unlocking from our lockdown, um, the shops reopened. So you could actually go into a shop, browse for the first time in what seems like an absolute age. So I decided to make a trip to Lush, and the closest one to me is the Merrill store, which is a fabulous store. Um, I went in there, bought a multitude of different things, and then I went back a couple of weeks later because there was a new release coming out and I wanted to get it. So I went back a couple of weeks later and I bought a load more. So I thought I'd do a video of everything that I've picked up. There's one thing on this list that I picked up which I can't show you because I've stupidly packed it away because I'm moving out. So, but I'll talk about it anyway. So this Lush store, since the reopening, I've been in there twice. Both times that I've been there, it's been different staff on and both times I've had exceptional customer service I just can't get over how good they are how much they know they really do know their jobs so big ups to the people in the Lush stores but the first thing that I picked up now if you've watched any of my videos you know I like the body sprays and I've also got this body spray in the perfume version now the perfume version of this body spray is called Calacas and the new body spray which has come out is Zesty which is basically Calacas in a body spray. Now, if you haven't tried the body sprays, the body sprays are amazing. I tend to give them a blast just after I've come out of the shower and then I can always add something on top of it but just on their own they're fabulous and they last ages. I also use them for spraying curtains, bed clothes, it just lifts the smell of a room, it's amazing. So this is, it's like a, a lime, neroli, a bit of olibanum, which is like a green balsamic, woody, spicy, with a bit of fruitiness in there as well. So it's got a bit of everything and I really enjoy it and I love the Clacus um, perfume as well. So putting these both together is just the bomb, it really is that good. So the second thing I picked up, and I've mentioned this before, I actually got this in the Lush Kitchen subscription box. Um, so when I went back into the shop, I saw it and I thought I've got to get the bigger bottle. So I managed to pick up a 250 gram of shaved ice. Now I've been using it for shaving on my chin, but apparently um, it's good for women to use when shaving under arms, on the legs, on their arms. It's supposed to be good for that as well. But I get a really nice close shave from this. And it's got something which is in there. I think it's the oat milk, which just leaves it really smooth. It's also got menthol in there. You can tell by the colour being the grey it is. It's got some charcoal in there. And it's got some nice neroli in there as well. But it leaves you really refreshed after you've shaved really really good and seeing that in the shop just under a month from when i'd had the subscription box with it in really put me off getting the subscription box anymore because i thought well it's supposed to be exclusive what you gain in the kitchen box and if it's coming out that quick after the exclusivity then it's not the best is it so the next thing I picked up, and this was a shower gel. I love my shower gels, and this I've got the body spray in, but it's just called Dirty. And this one is called Dirty Spring Wash. And it gives you a bit of a tingle. You gotta be careful where you put this. It's very minty. It's got like a spearmint sort of vibe to it. It's got sea salt, it's got thyme. Very, very nice, really enjoy this one absolutely beautiful and very very refreshing as well so the next thing that i picked up was another body spray and this is fairly new i know it came out a few months ago 
just before lockdown finished and I'd seen it but I thought I need to smell it first before I buy it and it is Guardian of the Forest. Now you get a really strong grassy smell from this which I really enjoy. There's nothing better than that fresh smell when you've just mowed the lawn. But you've also got some cypress in there, you've got some lime, you've got some rosewood, some oak moss which gives it a real earthy feel. It's a very green but it's got some flowers in there as well which lift it up I think and I really enjoy it, I really do. Very refreshing and it's great to spray in your room as well. So I also picked up another shower gel and that shower gel, now I've heard a lot of people talk about this and say how good it is. So I thought I'd pick it up and it is the olive branch. Now, I wouldn't say I'm a big fan of olives. I do eat them occasionally, but it needs to be with the right things. Um, but I wouldn't go out my way to get a pack of olives and start eating them. But this is like, it just envelopes you in like a warmth. It's like being in a warm wrap when you're trying this. It's such a lovely shower gel. It's got olives obviously, it's got orange in there. It's got some grapevine leaf, never smelt that before. Um, it's got some orange flower, it's got some bergamot, some lemon. And the consistency of this, it's very thick and very creamy. Absolutely love it, really, really nice. And then lastly, I picked up a rose jam perfume. I've got the rose jam body spray which I really, really enjoy. The Rose Jam Perfume, um, it's a bit lighter. Well, it feels lighter. So the Rose Jam Body Spray can be a little cloying, but I think it's because of the amount that comes out of the spray. And when you're doing it in an enclosed space, it can be a bit over the top. But this Rose Jam Perfume, it feels lighter, it feels a little bit more powdery, but it still lasts for a long time on your skin and it's absolutely gorgeous. I love rose jam. You just get like a, a thick rose smell, but it's like a sweet jammy smell to it as well. So that brings me on to my next purchase. Um, when I was there the first time, I'd bought the rose jam perfume and then I picked up some shower gels and she said, have you tried the rose jam shower gel? Which I hadn't. So she gave me about four little pots like this of the Rose Jam perfume. So tried it, loved it, um, and had to go back and picked it up. So this is lots of rose. Once again, it's got fruity jam, but you do get like hints of lemon and geranium, a few spices. And once again, it's not as clean as the body spray. Um, you get some goji berry in this which is like an acti antioxidant and you also get some argan oil which also does a similar sort of thing so it's toning and smoothing and not the rose absolute is just amazing absolutely love it but I seem to say that quite a lot about um, lush products I just fell in love with lush products just absolutely amazing so the next thing I picked up, and I'd seen this advertised, and it is a hand and body lotion, and I haven't used it yet, and it's called Charity Pot. So I think apart from how much it costs to actually make it, all the proceeds go to charity for this one. So it's always nice when something like that happens. Um, and this is shea butter, it's rosewood oil, there's a, a moringa oil, which is what they class as their miracle plant. And then there's some ylang ylang oil in there, but it's supposed to be quite um, regenerative. But it's rich, it's nourishing, it's sweet, and it's a little floral. Now, the monster-in-law tried this and she loves it. So I'm gonna have to give her a pot next time I go. Look at the consistency of that. Can you see properly? Look at the consistency of that. My wife loves it. And she said, it's one of these lotions that 
when you put it on that it, you just feel as if it's still on you ages later it's like where well, a lot of them they just soak into your skin too quick so she feels that it just really really nourishes and it's gorgeous and she smells great when she's got it on as well so that was my next pickup charity pot so the reason that I went back to Lush for the second time was to pick up this and it is another shower gel and it's good karma everybody needs some now I've got the perfume which is called karma which I absolutely love it's got orange in there it's got like a zesty orange in there but it's also got some patchouli and someone's told me that I'm becoming a bit of a patchouli whore maybe so but of course I really am enjoying my patchouli at the moment and Lush seems to do patchouli scents really really well so this has got zesty orange in there it's got the patchouli it's got lavender it's got some lemongrass and it's absolutely gorgeous and you can smell it on your skin hours later when you've used this and if you use some of the perfume on top of it before you're going out you would the smell is intoxicating i can't tell you how much i love the karma smell and to be able to share in as well it's just ace i love it but when i was purchasing that they mentioned this shower scrub and it's called orange now this was an interesting one as soon as i tried it in the shop i needed to get it so being a scrub as you can see from that so it's like an exfoliating oh, the smell coming off this at the moment apparently in each one of these there's a fresh orange so it's using fresh orange juice and then it's using sea salt which is always good and then there's some mandarin oil to give that orange even more of a boost and it's amazing it really is amazing and you can use this you can use it dry or you can use it wet so you can put it on dry before you have a shower then go in the shower or you can use it while you're in the shower and just exfoliate and the orange smell that comes off it and then if you're using karma as well or good karma everybody needs some which has got orange in as well it's just a massive boost and it smells amazing I'm just getting wafts of orange now off my fingers it smells ace it's like you've just eaten an orange so the next one I wanted to pick up was a perfume and I've been after it for a while I know Sam Smells has mentioned this one but I think she had a bit of a dodgy bottle and it is vanillary so straight away I was thinking this is going to be very vanilla not much else going on and yet there is a lot of vanilla there but it also has got some tangerine it's got some lavender it's got some tonka it's got some jasmine really really nice smell and already the wife is fighting me over who should be wearing it um, so I think both of us will be picking that one up and then the last couple of things that I picked up I picked these up together and there's a watermelon sugar lip scrub if you can see that and then also is like a rose lollipop lip balm now my daughter has problems with cracked lips all the time so I reckon this is ace as a lip scrub it gets rid of all the dry skin and then you apply the rose lollipop afterwards so this has got like a sugary texture to it but it's like a buttery watermelon as well absolutely gorgeous smell really really nice and then once that dead skin's gone you apply the lip balm which is like a sweet jammy floral which she absolutely loves and she's just been using the hell out of this so 
so that was it that was everything that I picked up the only one that I didn't show you was my rose jam perfume which is in a box somewhere all taped up I don't know which box there's about 20 boxes upstairs <laughs> so I just do not know where that one is but I hope you enjoyed this haul I'm gonna be doing some lush hauls some more lush hauls in the future um, always looking to try new things let me know in the comments below what sort of things you think I should be trying uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll speak to you all soon stay fragrant not vagrant